Oh, we have a flashbang. That's useful. I wish I had more inventory space. Save. Initiation four, we sing. All right. We sure do. It was all about me. This performance the dark place was putting on. But I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. Alan Wake? Do you know who I am? How the fuck could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice? is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh man, this is what we're after. The Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. Are you fucking I'll kidding? All right, we're making, we're going to the Ocean View. The Ocean what? View Hotel, a suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard boiled genre the whole city was built upon. You have got to be kidding. So the thing is, is that the Ocean View and Control, I believe is in like, it's like in the Midwest. It's like landlocked despite being called the Ocean View. So it has moved to New York in the dark place. The Ocean View Hotel, my destination. I can't believe we're going here. The platonic ideal of a hotel. This is Alan's ocean view, not Jesse's. A loop that delivered me back to the street. <laughs> what did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. This was not right. The yellow wallpaper slowly drives you crazy. Lotus says, I think the hotel goes anywhere it wants. It does, but it does have a location. Um, as far as we know from control, it has a, a, like the building, the original building that it is based on in control exists in the world. To find the neon peak sign. Crimson says, I went to bed and wake up and I'm still streaming. I sure am. This game's that good, dude. Story determined. 
determined where I could go and where I couldn't. The Cult, an unforgettable immersive theater experience to eat live at the Ocean View Hotel. That's not good. So it says follow the Mirror Peak neon sign. Where is that? Mirror Peak Bar. Oh, it's over here. Cool. The story I was building was fragile, constantly under attack. There was no time to waste. The Dark Presence was only a step behind me. The Heat of Murder was like a crow burning on his brow. A Dark Place Films presents Nightless Night, a Thomas Zane film based on a novel by Veiko Allen, uh, Alain, starring Alexi Kesa, or Kese, Baba Yakala, Ilmari Huotari, that's interesting. That's the murderer. Ati. Ati and the janitors. What's back here? Oh, that's back where Alex Casey died. That has some like meta value given the fact that like this Sam like place kept pushing me under, getting into my head, poisoning me with darkness. I had to find a way to escape before it was too late. Sam Lake created too late again. Alan Wake and Max Payne. Room 665, neighbor of the beast, what? Sam Lake created Alan Wake. 
and yet Sam Lake plays Alan Wake's creation, Alex Casey. That's interesting. There's there's stuff going on there, right? Like that's fascinating. We're somehow back there. <laughs> Interesting. What did that do? What are the words of fix do? Increases max amount of health restored by safe havens by 23%. Yeah, we're gonna put that there. Whoa. Fascinating. So where are we? What's the purpose of this place? Here we go, there's a ladder. This is like easily, all right, don't spread the word. Need money to buy books. Light will show you the way, beware the dark. You need help, good luck. Good for this person, keeping up on their reading. I should do better on that myself. This is something. We have four charges, so taking light away from places isn't like really benefiting us outside of just giving us. Yeah, so. All right. I thought that was gonna be an enemy. Damn it, I was second my inventory. Kettle Chips asks, what did the clicker do in AW1? Uh, you couldn't use the clicker, like, individually in, in Alan Wake 1. It was a plot MacGuffin that would banish the dark. The gimmick is that it's a light switch. A magical light switch that will keep the dark away. You spend the whole game trying to get access to it, basically. Wow, this really pushed us backwards. I guess not really that much, but. I didn't want to do this. I, oops, I accidentally put it in here. That's fine. We'll get another one soon enough. Being healed by worlds of power, words of power is fine. 
I guess. Need something good. Sugi's back. Hey Sugi, welcome. Yeah, we're still playing because this game rules. And I want to play more of it. It's literally, if I was offline, if I wasn't streaming this, I would just be thinking about watching Let's Plays of it. Or, or getting Brewing to play it. I would be bugging him to give it a play, so. If I'm gonna be here consuming Alan Wake, I may as well make content about it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, oh, this has been a serious joy. This has been just the gifts, a gift among gifts. Bye. Skip that whole encounter. This area is like immediately ratcheting up just like the terror. <laughs> like we are, I feel very, not weak, but like threatened constantly by these enemies. There's something over here for sure. Yep. I can, I can see what you're doing level designers. You can't trick me. I am too good. I'm too good at what you want. It's on the other side over there. Right, it's gotta be. Words of aid. All right, painkiller duration, increase effectiveness of trauma pads, increase hand flares area of effect by 13% duration. That could be useful. Trauma pads already heal us like pretty much enough. And Alan doesn't really get a lot of painkillers. I'm, I'm gonna level up painkillers again and then the rest of them the, the next one that we'll use will be the uh, area of effect one, I think. Oh boy. <laughs> Initiation five, room 665. We haven't really had a chance to, we haven't had a chance to go back yet, have we? I don't have the shotgun yet. We're gonna need to find that. Yep, that was an enemy. Hmm. Still have charges left, so like, not fully sure I need to even use that, right? Kettle says, in control, you play a very powerful para utilitarian who unifies multiple objects of power under their will. A very big jump, now. completely. I was getting close. Like. The the power level between Jesse and Alan is so hysterically unbalanced that like you can't compare them. Jesse is a world-endingly powerful character. She is an actual danger. And I think that Alan uh, is is he represents the lights affected the, where the door led to. Oh, that's useful to know. 
Alan represents like the possibility for that, but not that himself. Like Alan, Alan as a player character is not as powerful as Jesse as a player character, if that makes sense. Oh shit, Kaz raided. Hey Kaz, welcome. Hope all your raiders are having a good time. Uh, how you're all doing? Uh, but yeah, uh, Jesse is a para utilitarian of almost unrivaled uh, strength and like adaptive capability. Whereas like Alan is a person who is like afflicted by their para utilitarian powers, right? Like this is a thing that is very much happening to Alan in the proximity of all of these other places. Whereas Jesse is literally the director of the Bureau of Control. Yes, thank you, we will take that. All right, uh, hell yeah. All right, we got shotgun now. It's the barman you caught my eye. Manhattan, Lake on the Rocks, shotgun. <laughs> I will gladly take the shotgun, thank you, game. We burned him up. Anything over here for us? There is. This isn't your story. This isn't your story. This isn't your story. Kaz says I'm ahead of him. I hope I'm having fun. I am. I've been playing for 10 hours, so I'm having a really good time. This game has been nothing but an absolute gift. This is everything I wanted from an Alan Wake sequel. Uh, this game is is real, real magic, in just a very direct way. So, um, I've been I've been really loving every moment of this game. Uh, it's everything I wanted. But yeah, go to bed. Go have fun. Uh, I'm glad that you're you're enjoying the game. Thank you so much for the raiders. Uh, but I get the hustle. If you're streaming, you gotta sleep at some point, right? Thanks so much for uh, coming by. Oh God. All right, we have to figure out the password to this. It's probably on the menu over there. Mikey says, Alan Wake fans have been thriving across the board. Yeah, between this and Control, right? Like... Ocean View Cocktail. 2550. We got it. Derp says, have we gotten a big old god segment? We sure did. It was excellent stuff. That's what made me go, like, I'm going to play this until 4 in the morning. Number of the beast. Got to get to room 665. Sorry, I should say neighbor of the beast. Number of the beast is 666. Thomas Zane. Is it going to be Zane in the room? Are we finally, is Alan going to finally we meet Zane like in the flesh? Because before he only ever met him in the, the diver's suit in the first game. This is such oldest house vibes, too. I mean, it is the ocean view, which is, in a way, kind of also its own connection to the oldest house, but let's see. The room was empty except for the projector. More games. A slide a projector. Message waiting to be played? Oh, no, this is a film projector. Okay. Less terrifying than a slide projector in this universe. You'd never believe that Alan Wake is actually overdubbed in these cutscenes by Matthew Peretta. Because this isn't Matthew Peretta.
Alan Wake's actor is, uh, is a Finnish guy named Ika Vili. But he is uh, voiced by Matthew Peretta, who voices Darling in Alan Wake. Er, in, uh, not Alan Wake, in Control. There's a window in the floor, and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing. Am I standing still, or running, or kneeling? Is this Tom? You're the one who's been calling me. It is. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the House of Zane. The poet. The... Diver. You look like me. How the hell? Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. <sighs> the Diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker, a celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What? Ah, you, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. <laughs> We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Huh. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room, in this room. <laughs> it's returned because we returned. Jesus crow, holy crap. What is happening? And that is how the magic happened. Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder psych to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. If there's a murder site, you're in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. You were never here. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. Uh huh. So I think that was Ikavili's voice. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's just him. Nagged at me. Because he voices himself in control as well. Where's the echo point? Where is it? It's over here. Okay. Let's infect this. Whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult oh. of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. 
The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. <laughs> this hotel is the perfect setting for every story, my friend. I would start at the entrance lobby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 10 total floors counting the basement and whatever the bottom button is. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. I love their usage of CRTs and old televisions. There hasn't been a single flat screen in sight. Makes me happy. Gives me the warm and fuzzies. So, you were the director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. It's Eddie. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. Huh. You were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual. That's it. Set it up. Start from the beginning. Well, that's not good. Mikey says, well, interesting. I wonder if plays like that actually exist. They absolutely do. I've been to quite a few. Immersive theater is a very, very, uh, I don't want to say uh, chic thing, but it's something that's been very popular, especially in the past 10 or so years. I want to open this door if it will let me, just so that I have access to the outside. Okay, good. I can go in and out now. I was both solving the crime and creating it. Ooh, that's an interesting thought, right? A writer must solve their crime and create their crime in order for it to, to function in narrative. That makes sense. That's why writing mysteries is really hard. <laughs> this is like genuinely difficult. Yep, you can't trick me. stuck in my inventory damn it god it's so unsettling when you see alan's dead body here Ugh. you hate to see it i need to quick slot items i need to remind myself to do that right now all right let's do that Shoe box time. All right, take these guys out. Ren says, reach my limit. 11 hours spent here as God intended. Uh, good luck. Gonna head to bed. Well, thank you so much for showing up. I We've had a good time today. Thanks for hanging out.
Huh. I didn't have the key. Oh. Oh my god. These are still these are still the rooms from control. They're just labeled differently. Or they're just they just represented differently. I believe this is control 112. Cuz that's the board. Huh. So yeah, this is very much the ocean the view. The end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I don't recognize that symbol. If I remember correctly, this is Quantum Break. I couldn't get in. I was missing something. So that's Quantum Break. This is Control right here. One, one, two. Huh. Mikey says that's a neat little callback. Yeah, I mean, it, it is just like the mechanics of how this world works, right? The ocean view is a place beyond time and space. It exists in all places at all times in all worlds. So it links these stories together like the like the layers of the dark tower in Stephen King's works. So I needed to find the key. Interesting. And yeah, we can't go into any of these rooms either. That's why it says do not disturb. Interesting. Oh man, my brain is tingly, but oh now this is not. We have access to a different room. Interesting. 111 next to control. I wonder if we'll hear Jesse or Dylan. Oh man, I want to play control again so bad, folks. <laughs> oh man, I really want to. <laughs> it's so exciting. Uh, I haven't been I'm so happy playing this like it hits every single note. I wanted to hit the shining This is just the shining Spooky bathtub I'm the site of the pre show ritual, okay, we'll do that Somewhere through here possibly nope Not there. Is it just behind the counter? It's not anyone's story. Shut up. Huh. Oh, is it back here? pre-show ritual floor where where is it being held is it up here huh where is it being held I need to go to my plot board room with an ocean view the mystery caller was back he knew things wanted to meet me the ocean view hotel I would find a way there. Thomas Zane, not a poet or a diver, so he claimed now, a filmmaker, said we'd been trying to escape together. My manuscript, Return, was the key. Scratch got his hands on Return, he'd be the one to get out. Play of Shadows. Zane said there was another murder site hidden in the hotel. I would write my way there, a new Casey story. Sequel to the previous one, The Return of the Murder Cult. Had to keep it interesting. Find a twist, a meta layer, a theater play about the cult, a play with a supernatural reputation, the play infiltrated by the real cult. Okay. It's definitely not up here, so let's just go back down, I guess. Oh, never mind. Maybe it is here. 
Oh no, this is just the this is the way we came, the original area. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm losing it. Where do we want to go? Let's see. All right. Pre-show ritual. We have to find out where the ritual is being held. 111 opens up when we make this the pre-show ritual. Can we edit the, the board now and get in this room? No, we cannot alter the board while in this room. We can go back here. Hmm. I didn't have the key. We don't have the key to 104. What the heck? What are we supposed to do then? Can't go into the quantum break room. And we don't have the room, the key to 101. Do we have to just go behind the desk and find the keys? I'm a little bit puzzled here. This is where we would hang the keys if they were here. Or not. If I go outside, is this where the pre-show ritual is being held? No. Huh. 